Part 1. White Clouds. Red Wolf Moon. The Flame in the Darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Remire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Remire Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the Knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Remire Village. After all, I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> Sir, a bit of a tease, are we? A girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try, but I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the knights. Hey, what's wrong? If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Ugh, what could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. You look unwell. It's because of what happened, isn't it? Don't speak of it aloud. You can't change the past. For now, all we can do is use it to our advantage. I know that. I also know that I must steel myself to ascend the Imperial Throne. Those preparations are going well. We... Uh, someone is coming. Professor, I heard about our mission for this month. Something terrible is happening in Remire Village. That's where you were when fate sent you our way. This feels... preordained. Are the Knights making progress with their investigation? If what is happening there is by design, there must be someone pulling the strings. There is the Death Knight, of course, and the mysterious mages who were implicated with the Western Church. They showed up when Flame was kidnapped as well. And now there is another strange occurrence near the monastery. It seems an unknown organization hopes to make the monastery its stage for something. Do you believe that all these incidents are connected, Professor? That is the logical conclusion, but I'm not so sure. It certainly appears that all of the events surrounding the monastery are connected by a single thread. However, I think it's possible that it may just be a result of different motives overlapping. Remember, Professor. If you think of people as simply enemies or allies, it may be impossible to grasp the truth. Thank you. 
We've got to go. Now. The situation in Ramire village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. Kill! Kill! <laughs> help! Somebody please help! What's going on here? This is horrific. It's even more revolting. More terrible than I expected. Yes, we must find a way to save this village. True. But if we are not careful about how we proceed, we will only increase the death toll. The villagers are attacking each other. Let's knock them all out one by one. All is so reckless. You do know that if we mess up, we will either kill or be killed, right? Still, we cannot just stand here twiddling our thumbs and doing nothing. I'd really like to go home now. But there's no time for thoughts like that. We have to help them. I am waiting for your orders with full readiness. Wait. Those people over there, they seem to be observing the chaos. They must be behind this. Eliminate them and rescue all of the unafflicted villagers. some suspicious looking ruffians out there but our top priority is to rescue the villagers got it i'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent you focus on rescuing the others Ferdinand von Eyre. The one giving commands in the back. I'm certain that's Tomas the librarian. Tomas, what are you doing here? Dare I even ask? I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon, the savior of all. What's the matter? So shocked you can't even speak. <laughs> You were so easily fooled by my disguise. I was hiding away in Garrick Mach to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one step closer to realizing our goal. I'll have a bit of fun here too. That's the Death Knight. He must be an ally of Tomas, or Solon, or whoever he is. You are but a savage, insignificant beast. Yet you think you can kill me? <laughs> Rescued as many as we can. Now it's time to capture Sol. What are you trying? 
trying to do here? You're the one who should be answering that question. Stay out of my way. Death Knight was just a distraction. Let's concentrate on killing Solon. He worked hard for nothing. I could go another few rounds. This will be a fine opportunity to measure your power. Why have you gone after this village? What are you planning? <laughs> I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects. Now that I have what I came for, I must bid you farewell. Wait! Damn it, he's gone. We let him get away. I'll survey the village. There may still be enemies in hiding. Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramire Village. There you are. That armor. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. 
Your words are meaningless. Now, I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the Creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. Pity, though not unexpected. Pray that you do not live to regret your choice. Gerald, Professor, have you seen Lady Edelgard? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! He's gone. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramire Village. And you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery? I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once. Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery. If only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Ah, uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Professor, I don't know if this is appropriate to say, but admirable work out there. I really believe we did all that we could. Geralt said the same thing. We must try to stay positive, even through the horror. I hear the so-called Flame Emperor appeared in Ramire Village as well. Hubert told me that you spoke with him. And do you believe him, Professor? That makes sense. It's hard to trust someone without knowing who they are, or how they're connected to all this. Even if his words are true, his objectives are still unclear. But if the Flame Emperor should someday reveal his true intentions, maybe then he will appear before you without his mask, and you can look in his eyes and decide what you believe. Adel, I need to ask you something. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I interrupt? No, not at all. If you'll excuse me, Professor. You did well handling that awful business in Ramire Village. I am certain the Goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic! Who are these wicked foes? How did Tomas escape your gaze? Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago, by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia, before returning to the monastery once again, just last year. After having worked at Garrick Mach for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? 
Yuritsa became a professor at the Officer's Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial Nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros, no, long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlan. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows. Their identity is a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlan's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all. I have truly come to rely on you. I believe that the monastery will remain safe so long as we have you. We do not yet know the enemy's objective or whereabouts. For now, please devote yourself to preparing for whatever comes next. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the Goddess Sothis protect you. The Goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? I see. In that case, farewell. Do not say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? For now, let's leave this place. Please, go!